Diana Derrick here. <laughs> Good morning. I hope you're finding well and I hope you're ready to have a little refresh of your routines. Now last week I was walking you through my personal spring morning routine. I am a routines coach. I am an expert in all things Hoogam here in Copenhagen, Denmark. And today I'm going to walk you through my evening routine. Now, your evening routine and your morning routine will probably look completely different from mine. I, I teach people these routines and I've got lots and lots of videos where I go through what to put on your routine, whether you are working inside the home, whether you're working outside the home, whether you have uh, small kids, whether you have health issues, whether you have changing shifts, all these things will play into how your routines are going to look. The main thing is that we need to make our routines something pleasant that we look forward to because you know what I always say, if, if, if you've got that attitude of, oh, you know, I, I don't want to do my, my evening routine, already you're, you're putting a kind of roadblock in the way. We've really got to, to stop that thinking. We've got to change the approach. And my approach is always to make it as, as hoogly, you know, as cozy, as, as nice as we can for ourselves because let's face it, we just have to get on and do these tasks. And if we can make it something pleasant, where we're actually going to do it. And remember that the routines are something that it's not extra work. It's less work for you. We're putting things into an order on the days that are really difficult, the high days, the holidays, the routines pull us through. And you'll find that once you get more consistent with the routines, you will be running on automatic pilot. And that, that's what we're, we're working towards. So I, I'm going to show you my evening routine. I don't have many things on my evening routine because my main energy is in the morning. And I don't always want to get out of bed, but once I'm up and moving, that's when I can get a lot of things done. That's when I am mentally fresh. That's when I'm physically fresh. So a lot of the things for your kind of classic fly late evening routine, I do those in my morning or during the day when the situation arises. The main thing for me, <laughs> for my evening routine, is not to leave the kitchen until it's cleared up. You'll see me going through my routine here, but I actually have to say to the family, stop, don't, don't help me tonight. Our usual routine in the family is that everybody removes their plates from the table, everybody puts their things, you know, washes them up or puts them in the dishwasher. We pack up any food that is left over. That will be our uh, lunch for the next day. We clear off the counters. I'll shine the sink. I also like to put out a fresh tea towel and a fresh hand towel. I, I get a lot of questions about that in my Instagram pictures. What, what are the two towels that I have? The terry towel is one for our hands and the other uh, linen cloth, that's normally for, for drying things, uh, pots and pans. And I've got quite a nice little tea towel collection. I often pick them up when we're on a family holiday. They make great clutter-free souvenirs. And I also have some towels knitted for me by my bestie, Vibika. She's a, a beautiful knitter. And I just enjoy putting out a fresh hand towel and tea towel every day. And what I usually do is the one which I have had from the day before, those are the ones that I use to wipe out the sink when I'm finished my evening routine, and then those go in the wash. If we take it a step back, you can make it really easy for yourself to do the kitchen cleanup by getting the kitchen cleaned up before you actually sit down for dinner. Make sure that when you start cooking that you're doing a poopa, as they call it in Fly Ladyland. Uh, pick up and put away as you go. Don't take out things, you know, be taking out flour, be taking out things from the fridge to use and then leaving them there on the counter. As soon as you've used the thing, you know, whether it's a knife or a fork or a potter pan, you know, get it in the sink, get it washed up so that when you sit down to eat, you've only got a couple of things left to put away. So make it easy for yourself, you know, do a wee bit of forward thinking. And we kind of have a rule that, you know, we've kind of cleared up before we sit down to dinner. And as I said, everybody helps. So for us, it doesn't take that long. An absolute necessity for me as part of my evening routine is making sure that the coffee machine is set up for the next day. Often I will do that in the morning when I drink my last cup of coffee, I will set up for the next day. But again, if I haven't done it in the morning, I make sure that that's part of my evening routine. 
remember and put out one of your nice mugs. We, we, you know, I always enjoy waking up and seeing one of my nice mugs uh, ready for me. And you can really get your kids helping from an early age, get them to make their pack lunches, get them doing that where you, while you're doing your evening cleanup in the kitchen. And of course, you've got to make it hygge for yourselves. I always light candles or I'll have my cordless headphones on. I'll be listening to music, listening to a podcast, just something that makes it a pleasant task. And also make sure that we fill up the bird feeder so it's ready for the next visit that we have from our red garden squirrels. I think he must have heard me. There he is. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking about you. I think we're going to need a bigger bird feeder. He's getting too big to be in there. And during the day when we unload the dishwasher, I've told you before that we like to reset the table for the next meal that's coming up. And in the evening, part of my, my evening routine is to set the table for breakfast. Usually we're eating porridge oats, uh, we're eating porridge, so we'll put things out for that. At the weekend, we're usually having hot rolls, then I would put out plates, knives, the morning breakfast chocolate, that kind of thing. And that way we ensure that in the morning we're all eating breakfast. We don't necessarily eat breakfast together, but by having the table set up, and we've always got a candle on the table, even, even in the summer, it ensures that everybody actually gets their breakfast. Also, you'll want to check your calendar. What's happening tomorrow? Are you going to a meeting? Have you already looked at your outfit for the day? As you saw in my spring morning routine, I actually look at my outfit for the next day when I'm putting away my laundry in, in our bedroom. It makes sense for me that I'm standing in our bedroom putting away laundry and that's when I take out the next day's outfit. You'll maybe want to have a look at the weather, see what's coming up. And for those of you who are not keen on, on looking at their outfit the day before because, oh, you might change your mind, I have quite a few outfits set up in my wardrobe so I can immediately grab and go. You might prefer to look through our outfits at the weekend, uh, get five or six of them together, you know, have something ready if it's going to be chilly, if it's going to be rainy, if, if it's going to be snowing. <laughs> Here in Denmark we can quite often have the, the, the four seasons in, in the space of about 15 minutes. In our heads, we're, we're, we're already a step ahead. I've got my outfit ready for the next day. My outfit, I hang up on the back of our bedroom door. That's where I get dressed in the morning, actually in our bedroom. So that, that works for me. Perhaps you want to put it into a basket or you can put it into the bathroom, but have everything ready to go. Sometimes, you know, I'll even look out what jewelry, you know, which earrings, uh, which bracelets, which, which piece of jewelry I'm gonna be wearing too. You can put that in a little bag together with your outfit. But it's just that, that very fact of when, when you go to bed, knowing that, you know, everything is taken care of, so in the morning, you can hit the ground running. You're not scrambling to look for clothes. And I always say, if you're going to be doing your morning exercise, go ahead and look at your exercise clothes as well. Maybe your exercise mat, have it all ready to go. And that will be another way to encourage you to actually move forward with your, with your exercise. And what about the kids? Do they need to look at their backpacks? Do you need to get sports gear ready for them? Have it ready somewhere that's easy to find. Perhaps you have an area that you can use in your hall. I've always got my swimming bag ready to go. I've kind of moved forward so much with the Fly Lady system that generally I unpack my swimming bag once I'm finished with it and I repack for the next time. So I'm not even waiting till the evening to look at my bags. It's actually already done. And that's all it is. We're, we're just kind of doing things in a timely manner to save us time, to save us stress, uh, and, and who doesn't want that? And after we've left the kitchen in the evening, usually we'll gather together in the living room as a family a bit later. You know, everybody can be sitting, you know, maybe with their iPads or a book or doing some studies, but we make uh, a pot of tea. I've always got the <laughs> pot of tea going and some biscuits. Then before we go to bed, we always make sure that we don't leave anything in the living room. We take away uh, the biscuits, we clear off the table, any mugs, those will go into the dishwasher. We're just doing a, a poopa, where we're doing a pick up and put away. And if you can just pick up after yourself, it makes life so much easier. You can find things, 
you're no longer having to move stuff so that you can get cleaning. So it's just a few minutes here and there. Pick them up and put them away. That is as simple as that. And what about your bedtime? Are you staying up late or just, you know, doing that thing of scrolling through your phone? I actually like to get to bed early, get all tucked in, read a few chapters of my book, whatever I'm reading at the moment, and it also helps to have a secret stash. So I hope that got you inspired to maybe look at your evening routine with fresh eyes. Is there something that you can change up to make it easier for you? What's the most important thing on your, your evening routine? <laughs> Mine is always setting up the coffee maker. Uh, and on that note, all I'm going to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish Afnhuge, evening hygge be with you. And I'll see you very soon with that rap, rap, rap.